Hey folks, Steve here with another Reluctant Enemies video. This one we're going to be starting with turn 7 and probably going much beyond that or, or wherever the game takes us. Um, I've already played through the first half of the turn, which did come up for the Commonwealth. Uh, I knew there was trouble for Vici when they rolled initiative first and got a 4. <laughs> Commonwealth did better and they've gotten to go now back to back. Uh, fortunately for the Vici, they did have some reserves that I had situated um, one could help cover the coast, and so you see there's a unit sitting on top of some uh, disorganized Vichy units, which is going to make the river line hard to cross. We tried to get some units closer to the valley situation that we have developing, um, but ultimately was not close enough, and what has occurred is uh, the Commonwealth Cavalry swept up around, was able to be in throw supply, attacked, um, managed to eliminate Avicii artillery and is now cutting off trace supply to these two units. That one stack is disorganized from some Commonwealth uh, artillery firing. The sad thing is, for all the, that cluster of units, we're down to basically one supply token in that area with a desperate need to transport more. So that could be, you know, Avicii's opportunity to do something against that force, but the preponderance of force present kind of makes it that I can say, well, they'll defend at half strength, maybe we'll get lucky, and we've got plenty of units to flood the zone where we're not going to see a reversal in the valley. Even with low supply, we've got a lot of men there, and Vichy just does not have the strength to, uh, to operate, and they'll be using pretty much all of their movement trying to get back into trace supply on the Vichy turn. Uh, over here, you can see we're kind of moving forward. Uh, we've got a bottleneck problem. I'm really going to have to use the Commonwealth Rail Capacity to move supply up to uh, Santa Mine um, or beyond so that the French HQ here can actually throw supply far enough to get over the river. Right now, they're having a hard time with that. The, uh, the British uh, HQ that's sitting here can get this supply up the road easily enough um, to the forces that were up here. Now, what had occurred um, with, uh, with this, and I, I do need to, uh, let me double check up there. One, two, three, six, seven. Yeah, they were fine for supply. Um, though I don't think I paid for the supply, which I will do now. Uh, we had a case where uh, the initial assault in Keysway was so good, we got an exploit result due to surprise, and we got six shifts. Um, and then two infantry uh, with their exploit markers, because they were uh, action rating four, you can see these guys are pretty good. Um, they did another attack on a Vici unit here, but they had to retreat. So the net result of all of that is we managed to knock two more Vici units off the board, we didn't hold the town of Kiswey, uh, but, or Kiswe, I'm not sure how that's pronounced, um, but we did get pushed back over the river line. So, you know, the, I think we did a good job, though. We are, we're eliminating units without losses. And again, just putting Beachy in this terrible, terrible hole. And uh, I think Beachy is going to call for a general retreat away from Damascus. Um, what's going to probably start to happen here is that we start pushing across here. We start pushing through here, and there's there's not going to be much for them to operate with, and even our reserve is basically down to that one armor unit. Um, so this is all in, in pretty major danger. Major danger? Uh, so I think retreating back into the mountains is probably the best thing to do there. We're going to give up, you know, functionally like four or more victory points, but um, I think that that's probably going to happen anyway, and we'd rather reinforce these other fronts that are under tremendous, tremendous pressure, and the game is, is maybe close to breaking there. So um, we'll kick it back over to the Vici side for this turn, and we'll see kind of what can happen. The one thing that also slowed down the Commonwealth is that they didn't get to use their naval barrage this turn. It just wasn't available. The Vici will have theirs potentially available, which could give them some, some hope to uh, knock units around. We'll, we'll see what happens. All right, wrapping up turn, oh gosh, turn seven. We are still on turn seven. I'm starting to lose track of my, my stuff. Um, you can see Vici is starting to pull back away from Damascus. We've decided to evacuate 
the region um, because some units are foot units uh, they may be sacrificial lambs to hold back the allies uh, while we try to get all of our supply out of damascus we've left some supply behind for defense purposes if we have to fight and we're trying to get stuff pulled back my hope is to get something into get some guys into here some guys up here and then pull the hq back and uh, these guys actually did try to counterattack. Um, they did force the Commonwealth to use the last of the supply in Mergeon, but they had a retreat, so they're kind of pulled back. The fact that these guys are just straight up out of supply points means that they really can't attack without getting more supply to them. Um, and if they are attacked in turn, they're going to have to possibly draw from internal supply. So this is going to force the Commonwealth part of my brain to try to get some supply over to those guys because there's a whole bunch of units that aren't going to be able to do diddly squat um, over here we actually got really lucky with a, a dg result that eliminated a step from that stack uh here so that did hurt the commonwealth quite good we rolled box cars on the barrage so that was a little bit of luck for vici they're kind of set up there still holding the line still maintaining something um I think the big problem here right now is the Vici forces have lost so many units and they're getting basically nothing back every time there's a, there's a loss. Um, they can't hold on much longer. So I definitely see this campaign ending early in a Commonwealth victory very likely. Um, it's just a matter of time for the Commonwealth to get their supply moved forward. Um, even on the Damascus side, we're going to have to move the supply that's in these two hexes up to at least here, if not here, and then once we get back into Kiswe, you know, that'll be uh, a place to pull supply, eventually getting the da Damascus, and then Damascus will be kind of our supply depot for the rest of the campaign once we get up there. So, yeah, it, it's kind of looking really grim for Vici, and again, I, I think I, I can chalk a lot of this up to um, some really great die rolls for the Commonwealth, less good on average by Vici and the fact that we've just been able to do some really good work shutting down units um, and Vici just can't keep up. Um, now, you know, somebody who's a much better player probably would have kept this from happening. Um, I have spent a huge amount of supplies the Commonwealth doing this, so I'm really on a shoestring budget. And, and meanwhile, Vici has a lot of supply, but not a lot of units. So in theory, we should be trying to fire as many of our artillery shots as we can to try to wear down the Commonwealth, maybe start eliminating some Commonwealth units. If we can shift the balance a little bit, then we could get in much better shape, but it's looking tough. So um, we'll start heading into turn eight. Uh, I am not sure who will have initiative. I think if the, if the Vici can get initiative, I think they want it um, so that they can continue to evacuate Damascus and set up that defense. Um, I think if the Commonwealth can get it, I think they would probably... Uh, the Commonwealth probably doesn't care either way, but they'd rather knock some of these guys out before they can get back into the mountains. So I do think... I think both sides would want to go first on this next uh, initiative die roll for turn 8. Okay, guys, I'm here with the aftermath of turn 8. Uh, the Commonwealth went first, the Vici went second, and, well, Vici actually made some, <laughs> made some decent moves here. Um, the center lanes and the Damascus lanes of the Allies are totally, like, empty of supply. Uh, and via a quick punch with this armor, we eliminated a Commonwealth unit and allowed these guys to escape encirclement and they're holding a hex of damascus with a little bit of supply and then this guy can trace back out here so um armor units especially when doubled and clear um are still very very potent um and that armor unit managed to really give the uh, commonwealth a black eye and even the turn previous they had managed to um hurt the uh that free French stack and knock them down a step. So, you know, it's it's one of those things, I guess, <sighs> the missed opportunity of using that armor unit maybe down here, but he might have just gotten encircled and destroyed, but he's still got some counterpunch 
and the allies are feeling it and now they're they're really have basically nothing of supply there's like one one uh or a couple tokens left um of supply there over in the center there's no supply left um but through some attacking the uh the vici have actually uh removed some of the uh action rating for cavalry that were sort of leading the charge and uh have put some put a little bit of hurt on the commonwealth and still maintaining maintaining something of a defensive line the uh, Vichy forces are retreating backwards or trying to create some new spots of defense. I want to have some of these, you know, artillery pieces here. I want some artillery back over here uh, to help soften up the Commonwealth, especially with them not having much supply. There's still a decent amount of supply in Haifa and some supply in our new depot at uh, Tire Tier that's keeping the coast alive. But we had a couple of interesting combats here, um, both this stack and there was a commonwealth stack here became dg'd and the vici attack here failed spectacularly and they took two step losses uh here they succeeded in eliminating the unit that had to retreat so um kind of a real mixed bag on the coast and uh, losing even a couple of units is actually terrible so it was one of those things where they got um defender surprise they got shifted to like the worst column on the combat chart and then the actual combat it, it's basically the worst role they could have gotten period in the game and and of course vici has to eat that crap sandwich and lost two units we tried to to offset as much as we could by eliminating units that aren't so great but that lead unit had to take uh and he was an action rating four i think so it was just the the worst the worst odds you could imagine occurred there uh for them so what could have been a really nice situation where they cleared these two hexes and advanced beyond the river and then can start poking at these guys more directly. And then that whole area on the coast collapses might have been a, a real coup for Vici, but um, it wasn't, wasn't coming to pass. So uh, the struggle continues. Uh, the, the battles going on now are still desperate fighting, uh, still very close in terms of like, you know, what what can happen? I don't know. I mean, with the Commonwealth so low on supply, there's certainly something to say. Why not? Why not try to attack the Commonwealth while they're low on supply? Force them to either use up internal stocks, which then makes it even harder for them to keep going, uh, or or make them chance not spending the supply at all and defend at half strength and maybe get defeated outright. Things could turn around, actually, for, for Vici. It, it is conceivable. I could see it being possible, if only because we just can't get the supply where we, where we really need it, honestly, at this point. It takes so much effort to get these guys supply, so it's really grinding down. Um, with that, we're going to go into turn 9. Uh, yeah, turn 9, which um, doesn't... Doesn't provide any reinforcements, but will we'll be an interesting get. Um, I think Vici would appreciate the opportunity to go again. Um, so they would, they probably would like to get the back-to-back -back turn here and, and really punish the Commonwealth since they have no supply. That's ideal. If Vici can go first in turn nine, then, then they've got a real chance to turn some things around. Okay, hey guys, I'm just showing a snippet here from turn nine. Uh, Vici did get initiative and uh, is working their movements. They had done an overrun with this guy right here, thinking, okay, you know, the, the allies are out of supply. Let me just run down here, see how many units I can clear away uh, with our, our powered up armor. And they did decide to target this, uh, this stack here. Um, which forced these guys to uh, to use internal stocks. Um, but sure enough, when I went to roll the combat on the overrun, uh, the defender got surprise, shifted the, uh, the Vici left five columns, and while the combat die roll was, was pretty good, um, it, it... Whoops, sorry guys. I was just checking the, the chart. Um, it causes a step loss, and then the defenders don't have to do anything. So this super-powered-up armor 
you know, the last uh, counter strike uh, unit of the Vici that can really do some damage is gone. Uh, now these guys are kind of out for the count because with that supply, I'm going to have this marker represent both units until they split up. Um, being low on stock is really hard to fix. So these guys may not be in the fight for a while, um, for a long time maybe, because I'm not going to want to spend the supply to get them out of that state. And the armor is going to be less effective in the uh, terrain ahead. Um, but but quite the, uh, the die roll and, you know, a crazy circumstance. It makes me think of it like, I don't know, some kind of movie or something. You know, the, the free French get word that, the Vici French are coming out of Damascus on an attack and, you know, they're low on supply. So there's some like, you know, clever, crafty ruse or trap that they lead these uh, Vici forces into and manage to win the day. Um, and it's that kind of thing that I think is interesting that the OCS system uh, can can put out there on the map that the you know, in all other situations, we would ex would have expected probably that Vici unit to roll over those guys, but but that defender surprise and the degree that it occurred, however unlikely that it was going to occur, um, it did work out that way, which means um, the, the Vici now don't, are almost purely defensive. That was their real, like, you know, attacking capability out in the field, out in the open terrain. You know, the idea being, let's knock some steps out before the fighting in the mountains, and we'll be that much better off. And that armor unit will, will, would have pulled back eventually to here and sort of been the counterpunch in that plane in Lebanon, but uh, not going to happen now. So we'll keep playing it through. Just wanted to show you guys that because that felt like a really interesting combat that got rolled. Just some really bad luck for Vici, ultimately. Okay, here we are at the end of the Vici half of the turn. Uh, they did go first here on turn nine. And really, uh, while I think the Vici forces were looking at this being a really great turn to, to shut down a lot of the Commonwealth, um, they really got the worst end of the die rolls. Um, I probably should have looked at the odds a little bit better where, you know, if an average die roll is seven and that result, you know, given that attack gives you an AL1, you're really banking on surprise being the shifter, and it just didn't work out uh, the way I wanted it to, which is a damn shame. Um, I mean, we even had DG'd some guys, and that was really what was going to probably give us surprise, um, and it just didn't work out. So here, we had an attack. They did use internal supplies. Ended up having to retreat. <laughs> uh, so it could have been worse, but... But that wasn't great, and it's really forcing us back. And then over here, we actually did get the AL-1. So these guys are kind of stuck where, um, again, that road to Beirut is is coming, and uh, they just need to get, you know, move on. This is probably the only sector that has supply to be able to start, you know, moving stuff. Um, the other axes, you know, the Commonwealth needs more supply. So this was certainly the opportunity to try to attack some guys Maybe those low internal stock markers will haunt the Commonwealth, but um, those attacks just did not go the way, ultimately, that the Commonwealth wanted. They got the DGs. They did not get the combats, so we'll switch it over to the Commonwealth for the second half of turn nine. All right, here we are after the Commonwealth turn. Nothing too crazy. I uh, should show, you know, we have moved forward. We actually did spend the supply to get one of our French units, free French units, out of low stock, and they are occupying Damascus. We sort of knew that was going to happen, uh, so the Commonwealth will certainly be getting some victory points for that. Um, there's no point in trying to defend it because of the, uh, the terrain modifiers with Damascus being an open city. Um, so really, the Vichy defense is at Mez, or Meze, uh, Meze, I'm not sure how that's pronounced, um, which is worthwhile to hold because it gives them an air base if they if, if uh, Vici lose it. Um, I, I might have to look at, can I destroy the airstrip myself? I haven't tried to do that before, but that might be worth doing. Um, 
over here, uh, there actually was an attack. Uh, so we used some supply to put a unit back out of low stock and then had enough supply left over um, to try and attack on a unit that we de uh, disorganized with our air power. We succeeded in doing that. It was just a, a weensy little uh, Vici cavalry unit, but it is one less unit for Vici to have uh, to defend. And they're kind of in a weird position right now where, you know, these guys might have some trouble with, uh, with trace supply. Um, if I look, it's like, well, they might be, no, they're probably still in trace supply, but it, it, they're, they're, they've got Zoc problems that are only going to get worse unless they pull back. So we're sort of forcing the Vici out of position. Uh, and then over here, nothing major but removing DG markers, preparing for um, their own attacks. I do think that the Commonwealth would like to go first in the next turn. That way they can get some supply on the board before the Vici can try to attack them again. They don't want to get in the stun lock position where they're constantly using uh, internal stocks for supply. They do want to cushion some supply. Uh, the fact that they did capture Damascus means we can rail supply directly into Damascus for the HQs to leverage, which is going to be important because um, they're kind of in a weird bottleneck with supply being in uh, Dar Ali. Um, we've sort of moved all of our supply, you know, our, our supply heads uh, as far north as we can. So, um, yeah, if, if the British can go again, then it is conceivable they can rail some supply in Damascus, can try to push through, you know, up here, um, and then, uh, you know, we'll be headed into the mountains from there, alternatively, hoping um, that we can smash along the coast or continue to put the Vici out of position in the central corridor. So it's all coming into a really tight head here. Uh, we would have really have loved to have some naval barrage capability this term, but it was not available. Hopefully we'll get some here into the next turn. But yeah, we're going to go into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Turn 10, uh, which is the last batch of reinforcements. The uh, Vici just get a personnel replacement counter and then... Uh, the Commonwealth are going to get some more units, actually, um, and we'll see where things end up there. Okay, here's the aftermath of the Commonwealth half of the turn. Uh, we sent our reinforcements along the coast to provide some additional uh, oomph, which ended up being just the right thing at the right time. Uh, we have basically spent out our supply uh, on the coast to do it, but we have broken broken through, we have eliminated uh, the flank position uh, of the VG forces there, and then that trapped the remnant forces, which uh, were forced to retreat and were eliminated. And then we, uh, in the exploitation phase, did exploit up uh, and basically, um, uh, basically eliminated some uh, artillery that was left by itself disorganized. So the path to Beirut is basically open. Um, there's very little standing in the way of the Commonwealth. Uh, in the midsection, we merely moved units and DG'd things, uh, managing to keep everybody in supply, uh, counting it out. We DG'd those guys there in the center lane with air power because the uh, Vici air was uh, all inactive. That was in range for it. And then, you know, these guys are surrounded. They're probably going to just attrit away which means that uh, the center lane can surge, start running over to, uh, to Rayak Air Base for the win. And then while we haven't taken uh, Mez, um, we are really just moving forces up, starting to accrue supply in Damascus. So this is gonna be pretty much, this feels kind of like, you know, check. <laughs> Checkmate's gonna come here in just a moment. Um, there's not much that Vichy forces can do. Uh, we'll let them have their go this turn and see if they can turn something around, but uh, it's it's feeling pretty, for all the supply that they have, they just don't have the power to do much with it, and they're they're running out of gas, so um, let me, I, I, what, I, what I may do is play through the rest of this in this video, through the campaign, till it reaches a sudden victory, because I do think that that is coming here uh, very shortly, um, so we'll see. Okay, here we are at what is really the beginning of turn 12. So we've played through um, 
and it's <laughs> every time I think the Vici are totally done, I remember that they've gotten dead units and they have some returning to the board, and so they're managing to get some units uh, in addition to their personnel replacement in front of Damor, uh, which is going to slow down the coastal progress um, in the the valley. Uh, it's actually kind of interesting. The uh, Vici are preparing to trade blows, so as we're head heading out into the more open terrain, there's still the potential for the Commonwealth to to make progress, but it's still feeling even because we're pulling back our units away from Damascus. So there's a mountain defense, there's an auxiliary mountain defense, there's somebody sitting in Rayak Air Base, but the Vici lines here are getting terribly thin. I mean, almost just, you know, attritional combat is going to be enough. So right now, the com it's really just a matter of time. The Commonwealth are going to keep trying to, you know, push their uh, their supply forward, start making some more attacks. All they really need is a, is a really decent breakthrough, and that's going to be enough to kind of cause everything to, to close up. Um, really critically, these mountain defenders, you know, are really requiring the supply through this road if the Commonwealth can get past that line, then those guys are kind of doomed. So, kind of a problem. Um, we're, we are collecting supply in Damascus. We're moving HQs forward. And really, at this point, you know, the HQs and the position that they're in for both the Commonwealth and the, or, yeah, the, Commonwealth and the Free French, they're going to be able to push supply up pretty much to the end of things. In, in these sectors, uh, generally speaking. So now, you know, we can rail uh, supply up to Damascus. That maybe is where we should be focusing our effort is just rail, 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 more supply into Damascus and kind of let these guys, um, you know, force their way through maybe, I don't know. Um, still worth fighting on the, on the other coast here. Uh, we only, you know, basically the Vichy fleet is done for the rest of the game, the Commonwealth fleets are available to roll for um, every other turn, uh, basically. So if we're looking at turn, I think, 28, coming into uh, the next video, because I think I'm just going to call this video here because it is getting longer. Um, you know, they will have their barrage capability. Um, we continue to try to hammer uh, our way through the coast. Um, you know, even even with the reconstituted units that are coming in for Vichy, I mean, the reality is that that pool of units gets smaller every time. They can't sustain this much longer. Uh, but but we'll see what happens. Um, so we'll, we'll call this the end of the video. So what we covered turns, uh, gosh, a lot through a lot. We're, we're ending with the beginning of turn 12. So next video we'll do turn 12. We'll probably make a lot of progress. Uh, we've covered a lot here, guys. Yeah, turns 7 through 11 covered. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 5 turns. Um, pretty good. But, you, you know, what, what's really changed since the end of the last video, right? Well, we, we've seen incremental advances. We've seen the taking of Damascus, probably the biggest things. But that's mostly from abandonment, abandonment more than anything. Uh, and we continue to, to march forward. The Commonwealth have pretty much gotten, like, no replacements. They got, like, one turn where they got replacement die rolls. Everything else has just been on pure reconstitution and reinforcements, which, is, which are getting them, I think, to where they need to be. I mean, if you just look here, that open train is going to be much harder to defend. One thing I will say is that we are now coming into really good air cover patrols for the Vichy, so... The uh, British air power just cannot uh, make as much a difference right now because there are pretty good Vichy fighters. And in fact, this past uh, Commonwealth, you know, allied turn, the uh, fighter at Beirut actually did fend off um, some some bombers that were trying to make a difference on the coast. So, uh, yeah, as, as we continue to retract, the Commonwealth are making progress, but the Vichy get tougher every step of the way until they get brought to their, their breaking point. You know, for pounding iron, eventually that uh, iron will break, um, but we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Another video here for OCS, Reluctant Enemies. We're going to wrap it up, and the next video will start with turn 12 and maybe get to the end of the game, depending on uh, what occurs.
Thanks for watching. Take care. Keep gaming.